What's going on guys, so due to the amount of people that still can't get their head around the fact that you can sign clients virtually, you know, you can get clients out actually physically meeting them and um, you, know, you can actually get clients to sign contracts, um, you know, online as well. I thought, you know what, let me just create a quick video and show you basically how I do it. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys a software that you can use as well for your own agency to get clients to sign contracts online uh, virtually and that the contract is also stored in the in the in the cloud so that both you and the client can uh, access it see it reread it again etc um you don't need to sign the the, the contract on paper scan it in none of that law um, this is a very professional um software and i think you've actually got a, a free 30-day trial and after that it's like i think it's ten dollars a month something like that so uh, basically if you've got one client you know it's really paid for itself um alongside that i'm going to show you a quick overview of what a contract actually needs to consist of um you know so that you've got basically everything um on paper documented and then both parties sign you and the client and then you are good to go now for those of you that are in the course obviously feel free to use the templates provided um for those that aren't in the course or anything like that um like i said i'll just create a basic contract um, it won't be legally binding. Um, obviously, every country's got its own rules and regulations, so um, you know that's just a quick disclaimer. But it's just so both both parties, um, you know, have something on paper documented, um, so that the expectations are set. Okay. So without further ado, let me just quickly move um, myself to the bottom right, and as you can see here, this is the software that I'll be using. DocuSign, I am in no way affiliated with uh, DocuSign and I won't, won't be providing you guys with an affiliate link or anything like that. Um, so feel free to go to DocuSign.com. I don't know why it's on the Dutch version. Let me just quickly change that for um, this, you know, for the purposes of this video. There we go, that is better. So like I said, free trial. Um, just out of curi curiosity, let me see how much it actually is for you guys. Um, Okay, so it's free for 30 days. We already knew that. Pricing, there we go. Let me see what it is. I'm sure I only pay like $10 uh, e-signature plans. That's it. Okay, so it's £8 uh, a month or 20 What is the difference? Um, okay, so you can sign five contracts a month with the £8 version. So, um, yeah, well, obviously... You know, by time you're you're sending out more than um, five contracts, you know you should be um, well on your way to having a successful business. So then, obviously, you can't afford the twenty pound one. But so, like I said, free for thirty days, and then it's eight pounds um, a month. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to quickly log in here. And there we go. So this is what the inside of DocuSign looks like. Basically, what you can do is you can create your own little mini signature here. Um, and then um, what you can do is you can either create a contract within DocuSign or upload a PDF and then uh, you know, use that as a template within DocuSign. So in terms of the contract, let me just quickly uh, create one. Let me just give it a name. Contract template for YouTube. Okay, so let's just start with it. what it's called, service contract. Again, feel free to add your own um, agency name and stuff like that. Um, so what we need to know is the company name. We need to know the company address. We need to know their email, company email. We need to know their company website. Telephone, and then if you are in the UK or anything like that, you obviously need to know the um, credit card and saw code. So bank um, account number, and then saw code. Okay, let me just add a quick sentence here so everyone knows what's about this contract slash agreement um, is concluded between um, how do I say that fancy 
uh, here, here and after, is it? Here and after, referred to as the client. Okay, so that means that um, basically from here onwards, you're just going to call the client the client, um, and then this is where he fills in all his details. Okay, so you need to do this for yourself as well. So company name, boom. So obviously, just quickly fill this in. This, you need to keep this open for DocuSign because within DocuSign, they fill this in. Um, obviously, you don't need to constantly do that because it's always the same anyway. So just fill out your details here. Brampreneur, uh, Brampreneur Street 1, company email, Joshua at Brampreneur.com, company website, Brampreneur.com, telephone number. That is not my real number, guys. Bank account, same thing, so code same thing okay so then you've got all the details of the client so basically what you need now is to know the term the service or duties if you want to call it that um, the payment and um, what else and maybe some kind of NDA which uh, is non-disclosure agreement non-disclosure agreement. Like I said guys, this is a very, very basic version. For those of you that are in the course, you know, you will have the the like the more in-depth advanced version with everything uh, in it. Uh, but this, you know, is basically enough to get started with, um, you know, with your client. Okay, um, and then we obviously end or finish off with um, name company signature and date and then the same for you as well so then we'll have here Brampreneur or the name of your agency signature and date just quickly tidy this up Add some more space for the date and signature. Now leave that one out. Okay, so the term, what we can say is um, this basically depends on what you're actually doing for the client. So we can say something like, um, what should we do? Um, so the client hereby agrees. Um, and confirms that uh, Brampreneur shall provide um, and then whatever you know service you're not going to provide so provide a digital marketing service um, in the form of Facebook advertising slash Instagram advertising for the sole purpose of generating leads for the client and um, and aiming to get the client a consistent um, stream of new leads something along those lines again feel free to beef that up make it a bit more fancy services and um, duties so we can say something like Brampreneur will provide the following services management of all Facebook advertising campaigns um, what else can we do um, reporting of all results at the end of the month and then again just anything you're doing for this client add it here um, consulting on further monetizing 
the brand of the client. Okay, payment. Again, brand per name shall brand per name shall set up an automatic uh, payment of the agreed amount of, and then just leave it open. Obviously, because each client, uh, unless you do have like a set fee, um, I just leave it open because some clients pay in dollars, some clients pay in pounds. Um, and some clients, um, you know, there's, there's different payment methods for each client. Some of them just have 2,000 a month, 2,000 pounds. Some of them have a revenue share attached to it, etc. So I just like to leave that open. Um, this shall be paid in full prior to um, prior to the start of the service, and this shall be seen as payment for that week month okay for that month non-disclosure agreement uh, so this is basically where you've you know you mentioned that everything that you um, do for them or anything that you read that is um, you know their company data or information that you're basically going to keep it to yourself and you're not going to mention that for example on a YouTube video um, so you can say something like Brampanair uh, undertakes to treat um, in a strictly confidential manner confidential manner uh, any information and any document belonging to the client that he or she may become aware of during their performances um, during the service maybe sounds better and then we can add something like all data generated uh, by Brampanair will belong to the client even after the service is terminated let me just quickly reread that see if it's okay Brampanair takes season so uh, information and any document documentation belonging to the client that he should join the service all days generated by brand will belong to the client even after the service is terminated. Okay, and then name of the company, date and signature. Okay, so that is enough for now. Let me just quickly save this and then we can upload this uh, to DocuSign. Okay, so that is done. And then we drop the document in here. Okay, next, then you add your own name, so Joshua Brampanier, add the recipient, um, who should we do guys, let's send it to Elon Musk, uh, Elon at Tesla.com, no idea if that is his right email address, next, okay guys, and literally this is how we now um, set like the text brackets for Elon in this case, um to fill out the, the rest of the contract so add um left top let's change that to elon musk so he needs to add the company name let me just copy and paste that company address company email company website the telephone number the bank account number and the sort code okay we've already filled that in then we need to change that back to josh text Add that here. So this will be filling the amount that, uh, in this case, Elon Musk is paying us. And then, lastly, we need to add our signature here and the date signed here. And then Elon Musk has to do the same. So um, signature and date signed. Okay, let me just quickly check if that is everything. Yes, it is. So, next. Um, just in case that actually does get sent somewhere, I'll just change this to my uh, private Gmail. There we go. Next. Next. And then here. Uh, so, basically, this contract now gets sent 
to um, you know the, the client so we can basically add the subject to of the email so um, please um, sign this virtual contract so we can get started okay and then in the message we say something like hi Elon um, this is the contract we uh, would like you to sign looking forward to getting started with kind regards Joshua George from Pernit. okay and then we send and the great thing about um, DocuSign is that you also get an email when they have viewed the contract, when they have signed the contract, when when they've saved the contract, anything like that, you just get constant updates, so you know exactly um, what is going on. You know, in case the, the the client opens the contract but doesn't sign it, you know, okay, he's seen it, so that, you know there might be something wrong, and then you can follow up with them. Hey, um, Elon, you know, I saw that you um, viewed the contract, but you have not yet signed it. Is there anything I can do for you to clarify anything? You know, uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so. Um, let me just quickly get my email up so you can see what it looks like and then move this over here as you can see uh, this is a similar email to what the client gets um, I'd like you to sign this okay review document ah, okay this is the one that Elon has to sign let me just quickly open up the one that I have to sign because obviously I sent sent them both to my uh, my own email Review document. Yes. Proceed. So this is what Elon uh, needs to sign. Um, I'm gonna get mixed up here. Wrong document again. Let me just get the one up that I need to sign. It should be this one. Okay. Continue. Yes, okay, so as you can see here, we need to fill in how much uh, the client is going to pay us. So let's just change this to £2,000 per month. And then we sign, there we go, date is signed. And then the client needs to fill in all this. So uh, Tesla, Motors, and that blah, 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 he fills all that in. That is filled out by us. And then he signs here. He has to create his own signature. Um, you can actually upload the signature if you want, if he has a virtual version of his signature, or you can just use this one. And then both parties have signed, and then basically from there, you know, you've got something to fall back on. You know, um, everyone knows what the expectations are, and then you can start working together. You can send over the invoice, get paid, and then get the results. Okay. So hope you got something out of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a bit more of an insight into how you can actually sign the contract, etc. Uh, for those of you that want to know more about social media marketing, that are you know on the verge of starting their own agency and just need that uh, extra guidance, etc. I have a free training which is linked in the description box down below. Feel free to attend it. It's basically about how you can start your own social media marketing agency, um, scale it, automate it, and then live life on your own terms and how you can do it without prior experience or investment. So feel free to check that out. Like this video if you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.